San Mateo County workers are scrambling to clean up a mess uncovered by the ABC 7 News I team. Several million dollars worth of precious PPE purchased with your tax dollars left outside in the rain. Mm. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Our Dan Noyes begins our I team coverage tonight with a story you'll see only on 7. He is in the newsroom. Dan, what a picture that is. Well, Dan and Ama, we all know how important masks and hospital gowns and other protective gear are as the pandemic surges. This seems hard to believe, though, but top county officials didn't know that thousands of boxes of PPE were moved outside and forgotten for months until I told them. I got a tip on a recent rainy day and went straight to the San Mateo County Event Center, Gate 9, and couldn't quite believe what I found. Thousands upon thousands of boxes containing all sorts of brand new personal protective equipment soaking in the rain. Stacks of boxes collapsing. Oh, what a mess. Too many to count. Some breaking open and spilling their contents. Hospital gowns in all different sizes. Here, size M. There's large. And of course, here's double XL. I also found pallets of face shields, vented goggles and various types of coveralls. Boxes upon boxes of PPE just rotting in the rain. How did this happen? Our road to some answers and accountability started with a security guard. Remember, the county owns this property. I help you? I'm fine. I work at Channel 7. I'm Dan Noyes. Okay. I'm just taking some pictures. Did somebody invite you to come on the property? I don't need an invitation. Pardon me? I'm a taxpayer. I don't need an invitation. Well, if you don't have an event, then you are not supposed to be on the property. That's it. I understand. I'll be done in a few minutes. Okay. I'll let my boss know. That's fine. His boss, Dana Store, CEO of the nonprofit that runs the event center for the county. Why is all this stuff going to waste here? So, can you stop filming? No. I, I work at Channel 7. I, I need to ask questions. I understand, uh, but. Um, it's not going to waste. It's damaged. It was damaged. It was damaged or it's being damaged now? No, it was damaged in a previous storm. Store would not provide more details. I later learned the event center moved all that PPE outside in September because it needed the space. And those big storms last October first damaged the PPE. It's not my property. I can't discuss it with you. But as the CEO of the event center, isn't it your job to to protect the stuff that's been stored here? It, it's, it was fully um, taken care of exactly the way it should have been. It's very, very disappointing. San Mateo County Supervisor David Canaba disagrees. It's because of your investigation, because of your investigation, um, that we have to acknowledge um, that we made a mistake and the public needs to know um, that a mistake was made. How costly was that mistake? What is all this? I sifted through the boxes for some answers. Take a look at this box from DWL Studios. 100 non-sterilized protective gowns. A salesman told me they go for as much as $7.50 each. Add it up, and this pallet alone is worth $18,000. Goggles. These goggles with vents run $3.99 apiece. $478 worth in this box, among many laying in the rain. The load also includes 900 of these mop bucket ringers that sell for $70 each, a total of $63,000. I also found boxes and boxes of mop handles that run $25 each. Mike Callagy is San Mateo County Manager. Can you give me uh, an idea of the amount of money we're talking? I don't know. It, it, there's a lot of PPE out there. and uh, Is it safe to say uh, over a million? I would say, oh, yeah. I would say uh, over, over a million. Is it multiple uh, millions or? I, I don't know, but it's, 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 there's a lot of PPE out there. Callagy told me he didn't know about all that PPE that's been deteriorating outside for months until I called. He immediately ordered county workers to bring the supplies back inside to run an inventory and see how much of it is salvageable. As they worked, Sky 7 gave the clearest view yet of how many pallets of PPE crumbled from the rains since last fall. But I really am trying to find out who is responsible. Was this uh, a mistake by the event center or was it a mistake by your team? It, it clearly is a, uh, a mistake by the county. And, and ultimately, I'm responsible for the county. So, uh, you know, I, I take full responsibility for it. 
we are taking uh, precautions to make sure that doesn't happen again. In just the past few minutes, a source confirmed to me the cost of all that PPE is more than $10 million. They also confirmed that a, a convoy of garbage trucks picked up a bunch of brand new PPE and took it to the dump in the past two months. That's a massive waste of your tax dollars that the county promises won't happen again. We'll see. Dan, Anna. Yeah, I hope not. Dan, I don't even know what to say. It's just stunning. And that giant pile of PPE out in the rain, it's amazing. And it's just crazy that the top officials had no idea. You know, you can see this actually on Google Maps from overhead from right. months ago. You see these boxes. Really? But the top officials didn't know. Wow. Well, I'm glad you exposed this, Dan. Thanks. Thanks. Dan. Unbelievable.